Hey everybody, today I'm showing you the Chestnut Evo. I just updated it to the latest version. I'm going to use a stock version. This is DeepSeek. I'm asking DeepSeek R1 to actually play the game and respect the rules. I'm not expecting it to do well. These large language models and also the smaller models are not exactly designed to be chess grandmasters. I've seen them break the rules, for example, in the past. I want to see how this model performs. So the way it works is I've given it a prompt that I'm going to enter move and then it's going to enter move. There's no graphical interface, at least not yet. Maybe when I get a chance, I can actually create one because it's open source, it should be possible. But let's see, I'm going to play black. Back. Deep seek his nose what it's doing. It's going with Sicilian. I have to enter the move here. It's not super convenient. Now I'm going to continue the game and we'll see how it turns out. It's actually playing an okay game so far. It's a standard opening. F3, D4. It is playing the Nidorf. It even explains it here. actually pretty educational seeing his thought process now I don't know the level it plays still not obvious to me When I give it a non-standard move, instead of NC2, I said D4 to C2, it actually got a little bit confused, so it takes a little bit longer to respond. Kind of fascinating to actually read, to actually write a book about it. F1, E2. Now deep seek is not really the fastest, that's the thing. It just has to go through the whole thinking process. And you see it actually, every time there's a move, it has to go through all the iterations. And sometimes it says the server is busy. You're better off running this locally. And that's what I'm going to do in the future. So finally a move. C4, B5. Every couple of moves, it says the server is busy, and I understand that because I mean, you play chess and keeps going through the moves and everything. And I'm sure a lot of people are hitting the server at the same time. So I think the best way to approach this is to actually run locally. This is the move it's gonna play. That's not a tactical strike, that's a bad G3, move. E4. So it blundered here. This is already over because it just blundered the piece. It did okay in the opening. I wouldn't say it was great or anything, but it followed the rules. It didn't try to capture any of its own pawns. Like I've seen with other models, it actually knew that it was playing Sicilian and Nidorf and all that. It was explaining it here. So that's something that I'm going to actually post in the description of the video. You can actually go through it yourself. The only issue is that when you're using this model, after a couple of moves, you're going to get servers busy and it just sort of makes it difficult to actually complete the game. So here it wants to actually break the rules. It says B takes B5, Bishop takes B5, but you can't do that. It just gave me a free piece. And 
there's no way for him to ca actually capture b5. It did play better than I expected, but this is where it actually stopped, I think. I told that the move is not valid. Let's see if he can come up with something else. After I explained to it that you can't go from e6 to b5 to the bishop. Let's do this move. A4. The position is already over. It's 4.1. It took me a while to actually make the deep seek model understand that bishop can't go from here to here because it's kind of interesting because it thought it could I do like the explanations it actually explains a lot of things i think the potential for something like this combining it with the chessboard like this and having it actually explain the moves when it's trained properly on the data i think the potential is there i think a square off is doing something very similar they do use ai to explain as far as this game it already dropped the piece it did not understand that you can't go from here to here it thought that it could sacrifice a piece and then capture from here to here you can see all the explanation here so it should have known that the diagonal was not possible for the bishop so this is going to be probably the final move it's just taking too much time and it's just going nowhere anyway I'm not going to be able to beat the stockfish this level of play The beginning was okay, but seems like the more the game goes on and the position changes, it sort of doesn't understand where the pieces are, which is normal for his language models. See, B4 is not a valid move again, so it just doesn't know what to do and it's just... So anyway, I'm just going to stop it there. I'll explain it to it that it's not bad. It's kind of giving me another move, but it doesn't really matter. The position is over anyway. You see the analysis here is 4.5 by Stockfish. It's a piece up. It really doesn't have any threat against the king. It's pretty safe. There, there's no combination, no special tactic that you can actually get the piece back. I'm going to do more experiments with this, though I'm going to try to do the local models so that way i don't actually hit the server problems like with deep seek deep seek is very much in demand so i understand that a lot of people are hitting it and that's why you're not going to be able to get more than a couple of moves before hitting server limits for more information please go to gadgetify.com also youtube.com at gadgetify i'm going to include a link in the description to where you can get the chestnut evo thanks for watching